so speaking about art licensing, that's how you and I met years and years right. ago. But I don't know when you first started, how far back and who, who was that with? What was your introduction into art licensing? Okay, years in the 90s, I worked in a print studio. Um, well, actually I was working in children's wear and I was doing print studio work on the side. I was moonlighting on the side, making extra money and I was selling a lot of the prints and they're like, just quit your job and do this and make a ton of money. So I was doing that and I noticed that the people buying it were, you know, all these big companies like Town and Country and um, every major like the fashion designer were buying it and putting on their fabric lines or products. And I'm like, they're making, it's in, it's in the buyers like Kmart and Walmart. I'm like, they're making tons of money off that one design. I'm like, what am I doing here? So I went, <laughs> so I went to the stationery show and I uh, had a portfolio of designs, just print out like Xerox copies. And I got my first card through uh, Marshall Sherman. Okay, right. And started from there. And I'm like, okay. And then I did some more designs and I just sent them back then. Everyone Xerox, everything. And I sent them into uh, companies and it was called Hawkmaster back then. I don't know what it's called now. I can't remember. It's, uh, oh, it's a, uh, I'm drawing a blank, but creative expressions now. Okay, right, right. Uh, I know who that is, right. They're like, where have you, who are you? Where have you been? It's like, <laughs> you know, like wh where did you come from? And they got me in a huge line in Target. And it was on everything from soup to nuts, from paper plates, tins, you name it. It was on end cap. And I think that was Christmas of, I think it was 2000 actually. Wow, I never knew that. Yeah. Yeah, it was huge. It was someone's, someone's salary. <laughs> it was right. like the biggest thing ever. Um, yeah, it was like everything you think of. I still have some of the products uh, in, upstairs in the attic, but yeah, they did everything. P bags, paper plates, tins, and on an end cap. When you get an end cap at Target, it's like mind blowing. So. Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. how could you ever have imagined when you went to the stationery show that that's right. So Gone. I never did Surtex, which is a show you know that mm -hmm, you mentioned, right? that where artists like myself go and have a booth and they show their art and potential like clients or licensing people come in and look at it. So a while ago, I was thinking about doing that. People like, oh, don't do Surtex. The people in the print studio said, mm -hmm. it's not worth your time. And I said, I'm not listening to you, right? right. So I did Surtex and these people were like, you're the lady who did the Target stuff. Like they went crazy and I got a huge line of JC JCPenney from that because of the same characters. That's funny. And now I'm going to have to send line. you the Target gift lady, the Target lady. That's and I got, three other me now. Same, I got three other big clients at the same line, Boston Warehouse, and I think, I can't remember the two, but yeah. That's all those characters. That is incredible. <laughs> so everyone's kind of like, you're an anomaly at the Showtech show. That doesn't happen right out of the gate, the first show. You get this gigantic line with manufacturer, which is kind of true. And it actually doesn't even happen today anymore, so. Right. So speaking of that, and especially with like COVID going on, you have really evolved. I mean, I know you're still doing art licensing, but you were telling me today about your Instagram followers, 51,000 and- Yeah, Instagram, it's good. And it's good. YouTube it's is better. Good. <laughs> it's good, I guess it's all relative. I, well, I, I might have Instagram 200, is... so. Um, and then YouTube, 65,000? Yeah, I've grown like about 10,000 last month. It's growing more and more. That is incredible. And yeah. and as we were mentioning before we started started recording, you said that that has just been an incredible um, source of income. Yes, so, YouTube is huge. So is, how much work and time does it take um, now? Do you have to devote to- You know, some people plan out the YouTube, some people really plan out what they're gonna do each day. Like they might do all the videos in one day and then plan it out for the week or the month. I kind of can't work that way um, because because I always like to get a feel what's what's hot and what's happening that day or the week. And there's things called like Google Analytics. You can go in or Google mm -hmm. Trends and see the trends for that day because you might think of this great video idea and you you know you you um, create it and do it and hold it up and put it out like a week later and it's not going to trend because it wasn't part of that weekly trend. So some people do it that way because they might have a huge following they can and they're just going to go to gravitate towards that anyway. But if you're building your channel, you want to really kind of be on the trend on that week, on that kind of sometimes even that day. So sometimes I do it a day ahead of time. But most of the time, I'm kind of doing it right off the cuff that day. Wow. Like I did one today. Well, actually, I did a mock-up kind of one last night. I saw what you posted today. today. I did what I posted today, but I don't always do that. Sometimes I just mm -hmm. full on do it right off the cuff. I don't do a lot of edited videos. A lot of people who do that, which is fine, and they do a great job with that. That's a lot more time involved. Mm -hmm. and and I've learned of some people who are just really good at YouTube or really smart in social media is just get the stuff out there. Right. 
Right. You know, and the more you get out there, the better. So. And adding mm-hmm. Patreon to the mix, I'm sure has not been a bad decision. No, I was hesitant about doing it, but people kept on asking me, when are you doing Patreon? When are you doing Because it's adding more content because you have to, you can't just say, give me money and do nothing. Right. You could, <laughs> but yeah. Content. Well, people do, people do, but um, yeah. You, you, you know, it's, you're gonna, they're going to pay you monthly. There's for a something. value in it. Yeah. Right. Right. So they get traceables from the Utah, YouTube, Utah, YouTube, I can't speak today. <laughs> um, they get traceables from there and they get exclusive videos that aren't on YouTube. Um, and, they, and there's a different tier where actually I give them a PDF download of something I've created that they can use for personal use, which I don't even do, I don't even sell downloads in my Etsy shop. So I sell like one that goes with like a YouTube tutorial that I did. That's about it. Wow. And so, I get asked constantly on uh, Etsy, will you do a download? I go, no, because as you know, in licensing business, you have to be very careful with your stuff going out on the internet. Absolutely. Off. Yeah. Absolutely. Every day of the week. Yeah, for I sure. Mean, even it happened on YouTube. Like the YouTube tutorial is supposed to, um, you're supposed to tag the person who created it. Obviously, yeah, I know I've created it. And so it's, it's my copyrighted art. And you're supposed to just use it for learning mm-hmm. and not, not recreating it and selling it. And woman was doing that and selling it on Etsy. But the thing is I love about social media is like, the ones who love you, they just oh, go they after find them it. and they tell yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so, posse. Yeah, the posse goes and outs people like crazy. And this is how they, this is how it is that that cancel culture is today, which is kind of good and bad, but um, mm. good for artists, I would say. Right, absolutely. Well, you look like you're doing it effortlessly and it, it's pretty <laughs> impressive. So we're going to make sure that we have a link um, in the post that we put on our website to your YouTube, your Instagram, your Etsy, uh, Patreon. If there's anything <laughs> else, you just, we'll just make the page I longer and you let us know. I sell on Amazon. I sell like, I was selling on Zulily too. I'm like, you could just got, and this today, everyone knows today's day and age, mm-hmm. you've got to have multiple streams in common. So this is what I do. And and the YouTube, I do four videos a week, and, and uh, Patreon is one exclusive video a week. So you get four a month, and YouTube, you get four a week. But they don't come with um, any, like, traceables, and there's a lot of ads in them. So if you want ad-free videos, you go to Patreon. Right, too. sure, right, get right to it. Yeah. Well, nicely done. <laughs>